Hi everyone, Anna's here. Hey, a random money day to welcome. So excited to be here. I've got a quite of an interesting discussion with you today. It's not going to be a traditional money date. I'd rather want to talk to you about how the money date was born. I'm, um, you can see my beautiful background. I'm here in the Palace Hotel in San Francisco. I'll show you just a little bit. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ceiling. This is their lobby area, and so I'm kind of a hang out here. I have a meeting coming up, so I thought I'd pop on and um, hi Amy, and just really talk about, I do these money dates, right? And uh, just make sure my camera, but I never really, I kind of briefly dropped um, ideas how the money date came about, but there is a story behind it, and so I wanted to kind of share it with you, share it with you today. I promise it's going to be uh, an exciting one. So, when I started in financial planning, uh, my career took a little bit of time to get me to where I was able to get my license to start seeing uh, clients. Hi Amy, good to have you. Hope you're having a good day. And so, I was starting to see my clients a couple years into it. and. Um, my husband and I have, my husband is a CPA by, by training and he's been traditionally managing our family finances. And I was getting to a point where I wanted to take over um, that job. But because of his role in being a CPA, very detail oriented, all about the numbers, that seemed to be like an easier task for him to do. But I had this you know, crazy idea that I wanted to be in charge because I started to see clients and I wanted to share with them what things were working, how I was managing our bills, did we have a budget and all of those things. And so I, you know, I got this idea and I go, Yuri, I'm going to take over um, doing this. Now, um, he wasn't as, as enthused about it because he figured out our system, things were flowing, we seemed to be having a good um, system there. Right, and then what I, you know, what I proposed to him to do, and um, really, I said, Yuri, because I'm a financial planner, I've got to be sort of front running with all of this, right? And now he was transitioning into a different career. This was right in uh, probably early 2011. Um, we were moving to California, so he was kind of getting away from his CPA job, and so I thought. This was a good opportunity for me to get a hold of this, right? And he was getting into involved more with real estate, and so all of this stuff was not as um, as interesting to him. So I finally convinced him to give me this, you know, the system, right? Um, AKA a spreadsheet that Yuri was managing uh, to keep track of all of our uh, finance, make sure all the bills got paid, credit cards and things like that kind of keep us in line. So I got a hold of the spreadsheet, you know, but the real underlining idea was is when we got married, and we got married really young. Hi, Wanda, good to have you here. Um, I was 22. I did not have, I was not even the financial planner at that time. I had no idea that I wanted to become one, but I did not have a good start. I had credit card debt when I graduated from college, and I was still in college when we got married. I had student loans, I was all over the place. I even remember Yuri um, forcing me to close my Victoria's Secret credit card for what it was worth, right? Knowing now that credit cards is something you don't close, but I had credit cards. Um, and you know what? For what it's worth, I miss it because all the stuff that I bought uh, got Yuri to marry me. So, but that's another topic. So I wanted to start, you know, a clean start. I wanted to show to him, prove to him that now I know all of this, all of this I've learned, I'm, you know, working with clients. All right, so he's given me this system, which is a spreadsheet, and I started to kind of run with it. Now, over time, I started to notice that um, the balance or checking account was getting low, or I would pay certain bills, and then I had to constantly check the balance and kind of go back and forth and say, "All right, Yuri, did you pay? The, you know, did you see this bill uh, coming through our checking account? Was it paid?" So it became a bit chaotic for me, right, to make sure that things were flowing properly, to make sure that we had enough money to spend, right, and. Just to remind you, we were kind of in a transition. Yuri changing, changed his jobs. He did not have a full-time job anymore. He started in real estate, so there was no income coming in. 
we moved across the country. So there was a lot of changes going on, plus on the top of all of this, um, this new system, right, that we're learning. But I started to face faced um, a wall where, you know, I was frustrated. I, he would ask me a question and I didn't know how to answer. And it, it, it really be became sort of a tension in our relationship where before he seemed to be managing fine, I never had any issues, we never had a lot of discussions. And then now all of, all of a sudden we started to argue about our finances and he would claim that, you know, he needs to take it back from me because I'm not a good financial planner, I should know better and all of that. So I'm not going to go into details about all kinds of uh, arguments we had. And then, you know, all of a sudden I kind of start to see, all right, I'm going to give it another look. Just because Yuri managed his system and had a spreadsheet where he kept track of everything a certain way, that doesn't mean that I have to do it. My goal was to make sure that all of our fixed expenses, right? And I thought, all right, can I pay the rent and utilities and the car payments and whatnot? Um, and make sure that all of that got, you know, paid and I don't have to worry about that. That was my number one goal. We can figure out all the, you know, the variable expenses, the groceries and going out because we can control that, right? We can do less of it. And so I keep asking myself, can I do that? Can I, how can I figure this out? And then, you know, after a while I said, all right, so what if I figure out how much money I need to live on, right, for fixed expenses? Um, a month and then same goes for variable expenses right and so I created a, a spending plan I really never had a budget um, and started tracking our expenses after a while I came came back and said all right I need to have X amount of dollars to pay our fixed expenses and I need to have X amount of dollars to give us money to spend right on groceries and things like that what if I open a second checking account and all I'll do is keep our primary account that we've had for years and just to kind of let you know when Yuri and I got married everything was put together because there was nothing to put together we had no money so we started from zero what if I have that account is our primary that pays all the bills and the second checking account we can use to pay our variable expenses okay so I set the system up I gave Yuri and myself a debit card and I said all we're gonna take money out of it is the second account right all the bills were streamlined they were all automatically paid out of the first account and I just started to kind of go with it after a while we seemed to be getting on this you know kind of a flow and but then you know Yuri would have questions about you know a certain transactions and he didn't know like he would go to the ATM he still had an old card for the original checking account and he seemed to be, be getting confused where does he have to take money from and so forth and all I was wanting to say, all right, I have the system, I want it to flow properly, I don't want to worry about it, I want to just be able to make sure that by 15th of the month all the bills are paid, we have enough money in, in the second checking account, and that's all we use to live on, and that's how we kind of have a budget for ourselves. But there's, there's even more that kind of came out of that, is, is that we started not to have enough money um, in our second checking account. And, but the primary reason, right, for that was just because we were not making enough and spending more, right? Living in California, lifestyle was a lot uh, different than we were used to uh, getting to. So after a while, right, I started to uh, bring this up to Yuri on a weekly basis and say, Yuri, let's kind of sit down and review what's going on in our accounts. And we only had two, right? Let's figure out how we're tracking for, um, for our expenses. Let's figure out where we, you know, are we going out this weekend or we're not? We're staying in because um, we overspend for the last two weekends and so forth. And, you know, once we started, started to have these conversations, it became a lot easier. Right? And so week after week, we started to seem like there was a flow, right? And all I was telling myself, got to make sure the system flows, got to make sure it works because I didn't have time. I wanted to focus on working with my clients, but yet I wanted to have something that was giving me, you know, that peace of mind. And so after a while, right, I, you know, the more I talked about it, the more I explained it to clients, right? The more it made sense and I started to make tweaks. Now, this is a couple years in, well, more than a couple. I remember this uh, 2015 um, and I, you know, I was, um, I write a lot of different content and I do shows. So I wrote an article about this and it got published in Business Insider. 
and it's almost like overnight it, it it just blew out of proportion it had it had so much interest so many people started reaching out saying well how do you do this right and um, all I really did in offline is like set up these two checking accounts split your paycheck this is how the money flows all you do and never have to create a budget um, ever again and just kind of monitored it on a weekly basis and that's it right a year later, right? I started. Um, I started to even, you know, talk about the system even more. I created a course. I wrote my first um, ebook explaining how all of this works. And now I'm teaching boot camps, right? Where we actually go and place the system in, um, you know, in into your finance finances, so that you can within the first four weeks, once you get started, right? Because you can get a book, you can buy a course. Um, uh, actually start to implement it now the money did if you caught my story came out of us my husband and I wanting to have a conversation on a regular basis about where are we with our finances and then I just one day I said Yuri how about we just have a money date instead of a regular date and so that became kind of a lingo in our household where money date indicates that we need to talk about our finances Years later, right, we still operate on the same system, but what changed over the years is that we trusted, right, we, we became comfortable with it, and it frankly takes us no time, right, from month to month to make sure that all the bills are paid, and I'm really talking about simple things, right, we're not talking about anything complex here, but make sure you got your base lifestyle covered. Um, and you don't have to worry about it. The debts that we had got paid off and we don't carry debts anymore. Hi, Ashley. We've, uh, we've graduated to a next level on this money flow system, right? Where we don't use this check second checking account as much anymore. We use a credit card because we now, we've been for a long time into um, collecting miles. And so what I challenge you to think about is this, how can you automate your finances, right? So you don't have to think about them too much because it becomes stressful, right? It creates tension in relationships if you have one. Um, and there is a simple way to really streamline it. So that's how Money Date was born and that's how Money Flow System came about. I appreciate you guys uh, watching this live. Let me know if you have any questions. But this is why every week when we get together here for a money date, I remind you constantly to go check to make sure that you know how much money you have in your checking accounts, how much money you plan to make, and what are you tracking for your goals? There's a reason for that. And the reason is because those are three questions that you and I ask ourselves, right? Or ask each other every week. So thanks for tuning in. Amy says she has a similar system with her clients. Um, yes, everything is available. I'm working to revamping and cleaning everything up. I would love to share. Stay tuned, more of this coming out. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.